This is How to Drink, the show about making cocktails and how to drink them. I'm Greg, and I have never been a professional bartender. I've never even had a job in a bar. I don't worry too much about precision and technique, because at the end of the day, if the drink you like is in the glass, you did it right. Let's get going. Rogue One comes out this week. We decided to do a drink inspired by Star Wars, uh, one of my favorite movies. Um, actually, one of my very favorite movies. I wanted to make a drink that would be what I would imagine Han Solo to drink in the Mos Eisley Cantina if after shooting Greedo, he decided to hang around and order a beverage to cool his jets. Uh, so this is called a shot first, because Han shot first, so we're clear. And ironically, it does not include any kind of a shot, much like Greedo, who never got a shot off. And to make it, you're gonna need a couple of things. You're gonna need Carpano Antica Formula Vermouth. You're going to need a bottle of green chartreuse. Yours can have a cap or not. Mine already has the cap taken off, why not? And you're gonna need this uh, wormwood rye. It's very different from a regular rye. If you really wanna to get to this drink the same way I'm making it, I would use the wormwood rye. Uh, and if you really if you just don't wanna do it, you don't wanna buy the rye, get some wormwood bitters from Cocktail Kingdom or a stick of wormwood root and soak some rye in it or skip it and tell me how it came out, I don't know. And then the other thing you're gonna need is smoke. I'm gonna use this decanter to trap some smoke. Recently I finally got myself a smoking gun, so I'm going to use that. Uh, I use a hickory smoke. And you can see we're filling that up really nicely. So let's turn off the gun and put a cork in that. Let's actually pour a drink now. So I'm gonna put in two ounces of my wormwood rye into my mixing glass. And then it's equal parts of uh, <laughs> vermouth and chartreuse. So it's an ounce of vermouth. And one ounce of green chartreuse. I really like chartreuse in a drink. It doesn't taste anything like what your brain thinks green should taste like. I'm gonna crack some ice in that and stir it. And now I wanna give this a good stir. And we're going to pour it into our decanter full of smoke. Uh, you can per do this a lot of different ways. Uh, however you get it, however it works for you, is fine. Set that aside. Recork the decanter. And now just kind of uh, work the smoke and the drink into each other like so. And now that drink is really ready to pour. I serve this drink over one big cube. And hopefully we're gonna get a really cool visual effect here. And uh, there it is, uh, Han shot first. Uh, just was like really kind of inspired by that scene of the smoke and the hole through the table and everything. I thought that's a guy who needs a smoky drink. Let's find out. <laughs> that's a great drink. That is such a good drink. It's so surprising. Son of a gun, that's good. Damn, this is my kind of cocktail. It is spicy and smoky, but sweet peppery and I, if I was Han Solo and I was about to be frozen in carbonite, uh, probably forever, except that they made me come back for the sequel, uh, I think that this would be the drink I'd want before I freeze myself in carbonite. In fact, I know. Thanks for watching. I'll be back next week with another drink. Subscribe to the show. I wanna hear your comments. I wanna to respond to them. Uh, I really love making these drinks for you guys. I hope you have a fun time watching it. Thanks very much. This is How to Drink. See you guys next week.